Good morning to you all. My name is Bruce Malaudze and welcome back to Sonet Institute of Technology. This is the Red Certificate of Expertise in High Availability Clustering. I will be your instructor throughout this video course. This is module 1.3. We are resuming from where we left, that was module 1.2. In this module, we will configure an iSCSI target that will be uh, located on the IPA server.example.com. So these are the steps which we will take and we will install the uh, target packages. That will be the target CLI. We will create an iSCSI block and we will name the block as share underscore drive. That will point to the logical volume of my data that was configured in module 1.2 and we will assign a target name of iqn.2017-02.2017 uh, colon cluster and our target portal is 192.168.15.250 using port 3260 and Obviously, this is TCP port. Now we'll need to add uh, server one and server two to the access control list. After that, we will enable and start the target service. And let's not forget to add port TCP thirty two sixty to the firewall exceptions. Reload the firewall, then we'll verify our changes and. Always the case, your changes or your configurations must be persistent. So without wasting time, let's get started. Okay, so back in GNS3, uh, we're configuring the iSCSI target on IPA save. So this is the IPA save. So let's get started. So I need to log on. Okay, let me exit that. Close. Start afresh. Because I want the host name to take effect. So I can log in as root. Okay, so the first thing is to install target packages so that will be target cell i and dash y that will be yes okay many type was supposed to be yam Okay, finish installing so I need to start configuring so the command is target CLI okay so at the moment I have nothing configured as you can see everything is blank blank so I need to start configuring so after installing the packages um, we need to start configuring the uh, iSCSI target but before we start configuring, I would like to show you something. Uh, remember the logical volume we created earlier on? You can actually see it under device. And then you go to mapper. So if you go there, you can see here, here is our logical volume, big data, dash, my data. This means that my data is a logical volume and then big data is the volume group as you can see so we can proceed so the command is target cli so i can start configuring so i'll start with the block so that will be big big stores uh, 
uh, block and then I'll say create we are creating the uh, what's the name of the block it's share drive that will be share drive and we are mapping it to device mapper uh, big data my data so the block has been created now I need to create the iSCSI so that will be iSCSI command I'll say create the name of the target is IQN it's IQN dot 2017-02.example.com colon cluster now I need to create uh, the links so that will be iSCSI uh, iSCSI and then the name of my iSCSI is IQN and then I need to go into the TPG and then I say links and create now I can just point to big stores that will be big stores and iSCSI drive so what I'm saying is I'm saying the links should point to the drive which is the shared drive I've just created here on top here right here this is why I've just created it. So I just have to press enter. So list has been created. The next thing I need to uh, create the access list. So that will be iSCSI. The name of my iSCSI. TPG1. Um, access list. So I will say create. So that will be IQN. dot two one seven dash zero two dot example dot com so the first access list entry will be server one so server one has been added the second one will be server two it has been added um, now I need to create the portal so that will be iSCSI name of the iSCSI uh, TPG1 and then portal so I'll say create we have been asked to create the portal on the IP address of 192.168.15.250 using a port 3260 okay so uh, please ignore that error um, because we are using 7.0 but the, um, the portal has been created so if I do the LS and see if you scroll down here um, portal portal where are you here oh portal not yet created I'm sorry so let's do it again uh, if you're using rated 7.1 or 7.2 and above, you don't need to specify the port number. So that will be iSCSI, IQN, um, TPG1, and then portal, say create. So that will be 192.168.15.250. Okay, now it's been created as you can see so I, I didn't have to specify the port number so it, it clearly states that it's using default port 3260 and yeah it's sorted so now if I do LS and you can see that portals has been created so we're done from here and there's nothing much we can do with complete so our shared drive as you can see it's mapped to to big data my data and it's a size of 10 gig it's a logical volume and the iSCSI name is that one there 
and then we got our access list the two servers that is server one and server two and then we defined our links as well that points to that and we also have a portal so that's all on the iSCSI target and in this video i showed you how to create an iSCSI in a quick way we used our logical volume which we created in the previous model and in the next video we will configure the iSCSI initiate so that's all for the iSCSI target oh before we leave before we leave we need to enable and start the service so you say exit from here so the changes will be saved let me clear the screen we need to add tcp port 3260 to the firewall exception so the command will be uh, firewall cmd permanent so don't forget to include the permanent keyword so that our changes uh, survive a reboot so that will be firewall cmd dash dash permanent uh, dash dash add we're adding a port our port equals to 3260 and it's a tcp port then we can reload the firewall that will be firewall cmd dash dash reload we can check and verify our changes that will be firewall cmd dash dash list ports like that so port 3260 has been open as you can see here now we need to enable the service that will be system ctl enable uh, target um, okay something is missing there system ctl uh, restart i should say stop system ctl stop target okay system ctl system ctl enable target okay it's enabled now i can do system ctl start target okay everything is working as expected and i hope you are smiling to yourself as well all right bravo everything is working 100 percent so that's all in this video how to configure your iSCSI target it's so easy it's so simple it sounds sounds complicated but it's not i'd like to thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye for now